SMT Nation, we back. We've got an AT&T network update. And actually, I can't say with 100% certainty. I'm going to say with like 99.9% certainty. This tower site that I came across, it's actually a rooftop site. It's, I think it's the neighboring cell to where I work. Anyways, it it's it's newly upgraded probably in the last few weeks. I just haven't gotten a chance to properly test it too much or get close enough shots to the site. Uh, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it's unusual. It's got gear that I have yet to see in the Cleveland market. Uh, let me just let you guys know that for starters, here is what I've been seeing from at and I've been seeing this. What I'm seeing here is the C-band, which you guys can see the radio antenna combo here down at the bottom, right behind these cables. Above it is the DOD. All right, so the difference between these two things is this one is 3.7 gigahertz. The one on the top is 3.45 gigahertz. Dedicated antenna radio combos for both of these. They look essentially identical. You can't really tell them apart. Maybe if I was like right up next to them, I could figure out if there was a difference in dimensions and probably slight variation, the radios or whatever. But like they're essentially identical to the naked eye when you're looking at it from a few hundred feet or even a thousand feet. You wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Uh, the only reason I know this is that is because this is the tower site I've tested a million times. And I know, uh, you know, those that's the gear. It's Nokia. In fact, some of the tower sites I've been able to get really, really close and they're really short. I've been able to actually look at the Nokia logo. Here is what these radios and antennas look like behind. So you have the antenna on the front end. You've got the radio in the back end. This is a fully integrated radio antenna combination. So this is what I've been seeing. Every single site I've come across up till this point that's getting mid-band 5G upgrades for AT&T gets these two things. So back to this. This is confirmed. I have tested it and connected to it a 5G plus site for AT&T. That means this antenna right here is broadcasting C-band. Confirmed. I don't know if it is 3.45 DoD. I don't know if it is 3.7 c-band i'm assuming that it's the regular c-band only because it's been on for a few weeks at least two or three weeks before the dod officially went live in cleveland but it could have dod on it remember they're not aggregating from what we could tell i got to do some more testing i'm picking up an iphone 14 pro max this week the thanos edition all right, so uh, thumbs up for that if you guys like the sound of me getting a new iPhone. wee all you iPhone fans out there probably like that. Anyways, uh, folks, if I zoom in, it's too blurry to tell. I took this photo on 20X. I was too far. I'm going to try to get better shots. Uh, but this particular antenna is what I'm talking about. If you look at the antenna that's facing the opposite direction, so this is facing south. This is facing northwest, Okay. I don't think there is radios here. I think the radio gear is actually somewhere down here attached to the rooftop, like sitting down somewhere or put away in a, some kind of a cabinet or something. I don't think there's radios on here. This makes me believe that there is new gear coming to the city of Cleveland, unless there's radios built into here that I can't see. Okay. I just can't. It's not clear enough. I'm going to go back, but I don't think there's radios there, which means there is the potential that this is a new set of antennas that is being used in the Cleveland market, which is a Nokia market. I just didn't know that they were doing this yet. Remember, we, we got word that Ericsson had a two-in-one solution radio for C-band and DoD that they were going to be bringing to market this year. Nokia had plans to do it, I think, either at the end of next year or beginning of 2024 or something. So it, it wasn't really on our schedule to, for this to happen anytime soon, according to AT&T and uh, the OEMs, the, the, or I should say the vendors. Uh, but this is 100% a Nokia market. The only thing I could think of, folks, is this might be Samsung gear, but Samsung didn't even offer a date when they had a C-band and DoD uh, combo. Or this could be just some antenna gear from Samsung that's completely unassociated with a C-band DoD combo. I don't, I don't know. You guys got to help me here. <laughs> I need to know if you're in an AT&T Nokia market, are these indeed Nokia antennas? Uh, or are these Samsung antennas? There's no way this is Ericsson gear. 
There is absolutely zero Ericsson radio gear in the city of Cleveland. Uh, Verizon was always Nokia, and now it's moved to Samsung. AT&T has always been Nokia, and even T-Mobile's all Nokia here. This is either some new Nokia stuff, or it's some unidentifiable Samsung gear I've yet to see. All the Samsung gear I've seen, folks, has been the Verizon variation, and it doesn't look like this. It's much smaller. Much, much smaller. Uh, These are very rectangular and tall. The T-Mobile Nokia stuff is almost perfectly square. The AT&T stuff is basically square. And this stuff is kind of tall and skinnier, rectangular. I'm going to, I tested it, guys. It's getting like 400 plus megabits per second down. It's getting about 40 up when I'm in a prime proximity to it, uh, close and stuff like that. It works for almost two miles. It, it's really effective. Uh, it picks up from far away. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll continue to test it, but I do need your help, guys. Comment down below what you think this is, if you can confirm what it is, and if you've been seeing it in your market. But it is definitely AT&T. No Verizon 5G Plus when I'm in this area, and uh, no T-Mobile 5G UC when I'm in this area. So this is definitely an AT&T site. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Comment down below what you guys think it is, or if you have any experience with it and you've noticed this in your market. Uh, Appreciate that in advance, folks. Uh, Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.